I joined the uh, Breathing Space Yoga training uh, about two and a half years ago, and I was the facilitator for uh, our cohort for Mi'kmaq and Amatnoi. It was the first of first training of its kind within the Mi'kmaq schools, and it came from a place that our students were losing their identity in the sense of not being grounded in who they are and where they came from. So Breathing Space training was about teaching our teachers, both Mi'kmaq and non-Mi'kmaq, from a variety of communities to do just that, to teach our children to find, uh, to find out who they are and where they come from, while also regrounding themselves in the process uh, and connecting to our students on a much deeper level. Within my role as Student Services Coordinator for Mi'kmaq and Abmanui, it's my job to assist teachers and uh, support staff that support our diverse learners or what we would normally call our special needs students or our special needs population. With that you have to have quite a dynamic tool belt and what the YTT has allowed both me professionally and personally to do is to step back from the situation a little bit better to ground myself in the present and to look at things from all angles both personally and professionally. So sometimes in the past, um, my personality tends to be uh, overreacting or quick to judge, that sort of thing. Um, and now it's allowed me a lot more patience to understand and identify what our teachers' strengths are and to work with those strengths a bit, uh, a bit more passively um, instead of always driving my own agenda. Um, what it's done for our communities is that it's begun the healing process in the sense that our teachers and our community members and our students that are coming to the mat are realizing the benefits to deal with past traumas, to deal with um, seven generations of residential school survivor type stuff. Um, and they're also finding the ability to to harness that inner warrior, that inner strength that they have. And this past, uh, this past May, for example, I had the privilege of working with our Team Atlantic, uh, our Team Atlantic hockey athletes in uh, Mississauga. And what it allowed them to do was to, as elite athletes, was to drain out all that focus elsewhere and to just be present in the moment and present at the task ahead of, you know, competing against some pretty strong hockey programs around the country. It also allowed, um, I've, I've coached for over 10 years in basketball and other sports, but what yoga has allowed me to do with our student athletes is to build that camaraderie as a team much quicker than any other evidence-based practice I've tried. What, uh, what yoga allows our students to do is quite frankly drown out the adult world they're inundated with a lot of requests from the adult world. They're inundated with a lot of lack of understanding of their issues that are important to them and so present in their life. And they're allowed to find that inner strength that they have to reground themselves, to let it go on the mat, to just be themselves that no matter what issue they have at home, in school, in their personal life, they can just let it go. Um, and they can have fun. You know, it, it's fun to be goofy on the mat. It's fun to just sort of mess around and uh, and see your teacher in a <laughs> in a, a, a compromising yoga position is always a good laugh. So as a teacher, uh, it's really important to model that with youth that are so fixated on that perfect image that um, it's really okay to be perfectly imperfect.